Hey everybody, uh, this is Rick, and uh, I figured I'd do a little something that people have been asking for as we've been playing through uh, Rockman Strategy over the past couple months. And that is, I mean, since we were the only ones who've ever apparently been able to get the thing to work well enough to do a full Let's Play of it, people have been asking, how do you play it? How do you install it? How do you get a hold of it and make it work in the first place? Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to give you uh, a quick walkthrough of what you can do. Um, there's a couple steps at the beginning I'm not going to be showing. Uh, partly as a combination of I'm not terribly good at it, and I don't know entirely where the legality of some of it goes. So rather than you know doing that, I can at least explain to you where we got started. Uh, as you can see, we've got our, our Windows XP situation right here. So what I've got, I'm running this on a MacBook. I'm using VirtualBox, and I've downloaded a 64-bit ISO of Windows XP. Um, I got this set up with, I want to say, 5 gigabytes of memory, uh, the, the or sorry, 5, gigabit, five gigabytes of space, uh, 1 gigabyte of memory. Um, something to keep in mind, I'm going to pop over to our thing over here. I've got a couple of these. This is actually... XP64 is the one that we used in order to play the game, and I made a clone of that for this install demo. If you go into the settings, something you want to be sure of as you go over to system is that... Now, it's grayed out because I'm already running it right now, but you want to make sure that the pointing device has PS slash 2 mouse. You want a PS2 mouse. Uh, normally, that's going to say USB tablet, and you're going to be miserable trying to get this to work otherwise. So you want to make sure to click on that and make sure it says PS2 mouse. So I say, okay, I'm going to go back in. Uh... And let me just minimize that. So you got VirtualBox running. We have a Windows XP ISO. Uh, the video memory I had set to uh, 64 megabytes, I believe. I got to double check on that. Uh, something that's going to be very important on the very bottom here on VirtualBox, there's a little mouse shaped icon. And if you click on that, there's going to be this thing that says mouse integration. You want this turned off. Uh, the very first episode of the. Uh, let's play that we had we labeled part zero because we didn't have that clicked and the end result was us Essentially not being able to control anything any slight movement for one reason or another would send the mouse rocketing across the screen And so doing anything with any sort of precision was not even just with precision just doing anything was entirely impossible Is there really no way to escape this menu now? <laughs> I don't know I, Can I try? I d hang on hang on let me try tab Oh. <laughs> uh, I think once you have this situated, uh, you're going to want to go on IE and download Google Chrome, probably. Uh, for whatever reason, when I was setting this up, Internet Explorer actually refused to load some of the pages that I was using for this. I don't know why, but with Chrome, it worked fine. So points to Chrome. Firefox, uh, Firefox probably also works great. Um, there's an issue of compatibility with XB, uh, XP 64-bit at this point. So just you know, keep an eye on that. Uh, so what we're going to end up wanting to do is you can download everything you're going to need here today from one of two places. Uh, the first is, you know, the original locations for these. Uh, you want to download the Rockman strategy uh, zip from uh, MegamanAla.com. That link will be on the screen and in the description. Uh, it's MegamanAla.com slash ROMs slash Rockman space strategy dot zip. Uh, capital R, capital S. Uh, and that is the main game. That is the the game itself is all contained inside of that. Uh, and I believe it should be approximately 800 megabytes. So, so a little south of a gigabyte. Um, and the other, the, the second one is the English patch, which actually is hosted on spritesinc.co.uk. Uh, there's a thread for that. Again, link at the bottom of the screen and in the description to get you there. Uh, so the English patch is basically going to be a handful of uh, text-based files and you're going to be using those to overwrite what's existing in the Mega Man strategy uh, zip itself. Uh, last but not least, you're going to want alcohol 120%. And you can get that from alcoholsoft.com. You can get it from download.cnet.com. whole bunch of places. Uh, you're probably going to need to reboot while you install it. Uh, so alcohol 120%, for those who don't know, it basically creates virtual drives on your computer, which you can use to boot uh, ISOs. Excuse me. You can use uh, to boot ISOs of various CDs, DVDs, things like that. Uh, because that's the format that Rockman Strategy takes, that zip is actually a, a, a mock version of the install disk that you would have gotten when you bought the game. We're going to need alcohol for this. All right, so what we will end up needing to do, uh, we're going to want to go into alcohol 120%. Now, as you can see here, we have 
the physical drive. We have a virtual drive already ready to go, and this is what we're going to be working with. So we are going to mount an image. We get this set up. No, are we just not going to? There we go. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to want to go into wherever we downloaded these two. So this is these are my two right here, 802 thousand kilobytes for the game and 848 kilobytes for the patch. We're going to want to uh, extract these. So whoop, mouse is going a little bit wacky. Whoop, can I Yeah, just extract all? I don't know why the mouse is acting so weird. Let me try it down here. All right, so you can choose to move those wherever you like. Uh, I'm going to leave them in this folder. Doesn't entirely matter where they end up. You're going to let this go for a little bit, and it should uh, export that zip all into that folder slash download slash Rockman strategy. Oh, it looks like it's actually... No? Are we still going? Okay. It looked like it was basically done. There we go. Nice. All right. So we don't need to see the files. It's going to be in the same folder over here. We're going to want to do the same thing with our uh, English patch as well. And that one should be, yeah, there we go, a lot quicker. So now, if we go into our Rockman strategy folder, folder, excuse me, you'll see the instructions and all the files and things that come from MegamanAla.com. You'll also see CD1.nrg, CD2.nrg. So those are the operative files here. We're going to want to go, hey, where did my mouse go? There it is. I'm doing this on a, on a wooden table, so it's probably freaking out about the grain. So we go into Rockman Strategy, we grab cd1.nrg, go to Open. All right, so we just drag this guy down here. No, there we go. Media present, loaded. So due to the way that this is set up right now, my virtual E drive is actually my shared folder in this connection. I, I don't know why that is, but you don't have to worry about that. I created, if you go into virtual drive over the side, you can create another one. This was set to one, so I made it two. Uh, I didn't leave, change anything else. And so now we have an F drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag CD1 down to the F. If we give it a second here, it should load something up automatically. There we go. Uh, all these garbled letters are because XP doesn't know how to handle that character set by default, if you have your language settings to, I want to say Chinese um, traditional, maybe Chinese simplified, it should work. Uh, it'll try to it'll try to install itself into G14. That's totally fine. So we're gonna let it do its thing. It should take just a minute. And as you can see, it's building in all the various files for uh, what it needs for the game. In case, for whatever reason, you've never used a, uh, a CD to install a game before, I guess I guess that's still a thing. It's not really that big of a thing anymore now with, like, Steam, but general idea was you bought the CD and it installed everything directly onto your hard drive, and at that point, the only thing you needed the CD for was, like, early days of DRM. I guess you still sort of need that now, huh? But anyway, this thing should be just finishing up here with that lovely uh, pentagram clock background that has very, very much to do with the themes and deep meanings of Rockman strategy. All right. So uh, if you if you are to load up CD2, so we'll get that in there. It should also pop up a folder in a second here. You get G14 Muse ID. I assume this is a music file. Uh, I was not able to figure out how to work with this at all. It's only 44 bytes. It could be pointers. It could be a lot of stuff. It's kind of strange that this is what it does considering it's 300 megabytes for this digital, for the, for the disc two ISO. So I don't know what the deal with that is, but you see that now in the C drive, we have G14, all these data files all over the place. Uh, now what we need to do before we jump into the game, so you can right now, if you go to, I want to say it's this guy right here, uh, G14. Uh, oh, no, that's the icon. You want... Where did it go? Where did it go? I think you want G11, uh, even though I, I have no idea what that's a picture of. 
But if you if you start the game, then it'll load up, it'll play, uh, but it'll be entirely in, in Chinese still. So if you want to have an English translation, this is where our patch comes in. So we go back up. Uh, let's see, did I have in my documents and settings? No. My documents, yeah, here we go. Downloads, Rockman Strategy, English patch. So in here, there is the G14 patch. The save and miscellaneous, I believe, is for various like menu bits and things. Uh, I didn't wind up adding this because I wasn't super sure how to work with it. It looks like the idea is you just replace these files uh, with uh, in the places where they normally exist. Uh, so this one looks to be Dr. Dr. Light's lab, has English labels for those. Obviously, when we played the game, we left the Chinese ones in here just because these were kind of miscellaneous. The idea is these are all images. Uh, so in order to get these to work, you would have to go through the game and get like all the menus essentially are, are images that you'd have to edit manually. Uh, but what we're concerned about is this guy right here says G14 patch, and you're going to go inside and you're going to take both of these. So dat5, gat5, I copied those. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to go into my G14 folder. You'll notice there's a dat5 and a gat5, and we're just going to paste those. So this folder already contains a folder named dat5. If the files in the existing folder have the same name as files in the folder you're moving to or copying, they will be replaced. This is what we want it to do. Any files that are duplicated, we want the new version to copy over it. So we could say yes to all. All right, so that should be all set. So now we should essentially be able to get this to work. Uh, I am going to click on a G11 here. And you'll see the intro starts up. It's a real shame that there's no volume to go along with this, but we get our, we get our funky logos for G2. Don't know what that's for. G generation. It's not dream come true or uh, Acer, but that's okay. And then we get our second logo, and then this is for Dream Come True. All righty. Now, sometimes when it gets to the next part, it'll just stop, or it'll do this. Uh, there's a lot of visual glitches that tend to happen uh, dealing with this opening cutscene. Uh, it took a couple tries for me to get it right, even for our video. Sometimes it'll be a black screen uh, instead of this. Sometimes you'll get the full video. Sometimes this will happen. Uh, essentially, if you alt-tab away and back, actually, you don't even have to alt-tab back, you just alt-tab, and you are in. Uh, sometimes it'll get a little upset if it's the only program running, like if you don't even have a folder open or something, then it'll just box you out, it'll be a black screen. So if you have, make sure there's some other folder or program or something running so you can alt-tab to that just in case, and it should work just fine. Uh, from here, you can see some of the menus are already at least partially translated, though the glowing bits are still in Chinese. Title screen, all of that. And if you click uh, New Game, then you'll get yourself into Mega Man Strategy with English uh, subtitles. Not even subtitles, just English text patch. Uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click through this really quickly so we can get to the actual game because I wanted to give you a little rundown of how a lot of that works. Uh, but essentially, this is all you really need in order to get the game started. Uh, hopefully, you know, skipping the virtual box bit at the beginning wasn't too awful. I, like I said, I'm not really all that good with it. I actually had to uh, clone my original virtual box, you know, ISO on that because while setting it up today, I just could not remember how the hell to uh, get the settings, you know, put together correctly. Uh, that will take a little bit of, of trial and error. Um, getting internet on the virtual box. Drive can be a little bit weird sometimes. Uh, what I wound up doing, I think, was just copy and pasting everything I needed into a into a shared folder from the MacBook itself, and then pass the files in. So what we have here, this is the battle screen. Uh, if you right click, oh, actually, it looks like part of the screen is being covered up by the window here. Let me see if I can Alt Tab. Whoop! Can I? There we go. Okay, we got more of the screen now. Uh, so this is our battlefield. As you can see, we have uh, down here Mega Man, Rush, uh, Beat. We have Eddie and Otto, or Rytot, as he is in this game. Uh, up here, we have a bunch of various fire and earth elemental guys. We have Cutman and Fireman. So the way this tends to work... So right now, so if you right-click, right-click is basically your back button in this game. So if you right-click from that menu, then you can move around the map. So you have five options on here. Uh, the first one is movement. 
you can move pretty far actually. So this number down here is essentially your energy for the turn. Uh, various things you can do will cost different amounts of energy. So for example, movement. Moving one square costs you one energy in most maps. There's a couple exceptions uh, in the... Uh, oh, which one is it? There, there are some maps where your, your movement is slowed down and others where you get more energy to allow you to move faster. Uh, it'll be pretty clear when that's the case. Also, uh, if there's spikes on the floor, a lot of times that'll slow you down temporarily. It actually doesn't affect your energy. I don't entirely know what the deal with that is. Uh, but so you can move around freely and you can plant yourself like this. And now I'm in front of this fire guy. Uh, so this second option here, this is your actions. So I'm going to go from the bottom up. This third action is for items. Right now we don't have any. So this won't do anything, but essentially you can click on an item and then click on whatever person you want it to affect. Some are healing, some are damaging. Uh, it'll be pretty clear which ones they are. The translations aren't incredible, but they're pretty straightforward and should be you know, fairly understandable. Uh, the second option is for special attacks or special abilities, I guess. So for uh, Beat, for example, his is Accelerate. Increase the speed of everybody within one square by 20. Uh, I'm not entirely sure how the numerics work out for that, so that could be a whole bunch of different things. Some characters definitely have better ones than others. In particular, Mega Man has a pair of great ones. One of them is Transform. That allows you to change his element to Fire, Water, Earth, or Wind. The other one is Jump, which allows you to exit to the world map at no cost, basically. You don't lose the battle. You get to keep your experience points and level up, uh, and you can, uh, you can basically do that to grind if you find yourself needing to. Uh, you can tell on the side here too, it says 10, which means I need 10 energy in order to use this. Um, transform and jump are both one energy. There's a wide array of different costs for them. A big one that we used a lot was rush. He has a pro he has an ability called excavate that lets him dig up items. Uh, I believe it's a one in three chance, maybe a one in four chance of, uh, of missing. I'll have to double check. Uh, it basically, you have the, a certain odds of picking something up and it costs uh, four, I want to say, for energy. Uh, the top one here is attack. So as you can see, you can only attack from one square away. I think that's constant for everybody. I never encountered any characters who could attack from a distance. But so you can choose your opponent, click on this, and now we're in a battle, now we're in a battle scene. So I'm going to click on this second one here because that'll freeze time. This second, uh, the second button is for special attacks. Some characters will have special attacks that are different from their special abilities outside of battle. This third one is for items. So as you can see, here's sort of the default set, and we have none of any of those. I actually don't know what four and five, what four is for, but five will make you leave the battle. So this first one is just basic attacks. You have 30 seconds until the battle ends. You kind of just wail on each other for the duration of the 30 seconds. Uh, a lot of these bad guys, after a while, when they start to get low, will start defending themselves instead of attacking. Looks like he didn't. So... Allegedly, this question that's untranslated is essentially, do you want to destroy this enemy or not? You click yes, and it'll blow them up. If you click no, supposedly you are able to capture some of these soldiers, especially robot masters, to enlist them onto your team, but we were never really able to get that to work correctly, to be totally honest. Uh, I, and all it seems to do is make them run really far away with one hit point uh, that they don't ever heal, as far as I'm aware. So I, I don't entirely know what the deal is with that, but he'll die, he'll disappear. And now if you have any energy left, so attacking costs six energy. So we had 11, now we're down to five. I'm going, uh, this third option is for saving and loading. So you can save to the various save files. It actually seems to have kept my various save files from the other, uh, oh, because it's probably saved in the registry. So yeah, my various save files from the Let's Play are currently stored in here. So if I click on down here, then that'll save that file, Battle in the City. Uh, if you click on the second one, then that'll load instead. So if I were to load, uh, let's do this one, the third one. So now I'm in the middle of an air battle up here. Uh, I never messed around with this third or fourth one. Oh, I think, oh, so we got settings. I don't know what this is. Oh, pfft, that's just exit the game in the middle of that. Okay. Uh, so that was unexpected, which, uh, oh, I guess that makes sense since this is more options, save, load, settings, and quit. The fourth one, I believe, is all about stats for your various characters. 
Yeah, so here's Rockman's little ID card. This is uh, the stats of your team currently. Are these the only guys? I guess these are the only guys who are currently alive in my on my bench right now. The second option. Oh, it'll actually tell you. That's cool. So that flashes really fast when the battle starts, and you'll get a chance to read it. Granted, the conditions appear to be almost constantly defeat boss name and all or rock man are destroyed. So that's your win condition and your lose condition. So we back out of those. And then this last one is just, if you have energy left, then you have the ability to plant yourself, pick a direction you want to stay in and wait for the next turn. Uh, I think that's more or less, uh, actually I can show you, a, I can show you a little bit more in here. Uh, I guess we can do this. Yeah, so this is what the menu will look like once you're in the main game. Uh, there are two sides to the map here. You switch sides by right-clicking. Uh, when you start this off, you're going to have this pink dot, which is Dr. Light's lab. You're going to have a red dot for the battle in the city, and then you're going to have four green dots. And those are the first four stages that are unlocked. You click on those, you go into battle uh, against one of the various um, uh, constellation robots. Uh, over here, we have Apollo and Luna. We have the Doc Wily capsule and the Doc Wily robot as the last two stages. Uh, there are also occasionally extra levels that will pop up randomly. And those are, they seem mostly to be just for experience. But occasionally, if you can get through a phase of four levels without calling upon and having die uh, an ally character such as basically duo or proto man, then you will get us, uh, you will get a level where you need to rescue them. And if you do, you get to keep them on your team permanently. So as you can see, I got proto man, I got duo, uh, this, that button on the bottom left, by the way, this gets you into your team organization area. If you happen to have more than eight characters, you can click on them to toss them out or click on them over here to toss them back in. And I'll show you their various stats as well. Uh, I want to say this is also a quit button. Yeah, that's a quit. So I'm going to load us back in here again, and I'll show you the menus in the in the actual game. So to go to the to the actual menus themselves, we click on Dr. Light's Lab, and here we are. Uh, we didn't mess around with this terribly much. Uh, I believe this lets you... I want to say this is what lets you uh, acquire new robot buddies. Uh, I think this is the one that lets you merge robot buddies. And then this is the one that lets you level up your existing dude. So as you can see, Mega Man here is level 20. He's got 20 pips. Uh, the cost to level up is going to be right here. So for example, if I go to auto, it costs 130. It's kind of hard to see because the text is a little weird with the anti-aliasing. It costs 130 screws to level him up, but I've only got 20, so I can't do that. But if you do have enough, this is, this is yes, and I think this is no. Yeah, that just backs out. Uh, the bottom option on all of these is just exit. So the second set here, this has to do with stats and equipment. We never touch the equipment once. Uh, there is presumably a way to bounce between the equipment, but we never really messed around with it. Uh, we have our, our stat cards again. We have those things again from here. The third option is dealing with... Oh, here we go. This is how you buy your, your robot buddies. So I'm actually not entirely sure what the, uh, the other one is. Oh, these are some interesting dudes. These appear to be the highest level version the tycoons of their uh, of their various stuff. We didn't see any enemies with these at all. That's kind of interesting. This, so there's still a lot to this game that we never really got around to figuring out, partly because the translation still makes it difficult, uh, partly because we just kind of picked the way we wanted to uh, play the game. This, by the way, is save and load, this fourth option. If you click this, it's save. If you click this, it's load. So just be careful with that. So you come in here and it's save by default. I don't know what any of these options mean, unfortunately. I assume this is tech speed or something. Uh, but yeah, there's a there's a lot here that still hasn't really been figured out. Um, I'm not going to pretend like this is the the be all end all for uh, setting up Rockman strategy. Hopefully, what this is though is a a chance for people to start exploring it because I mean it's been out since 2001 in Taiwan and it's never really seen the light of day outside of there. It's had very little exposure on YouTube after 17 years, and I was honestly kind of surprised that we were the only ones who'd ever explored it in depth. Um, so honestly, what I'm hoping is going to come from this is that, you know, those of you out there watching this, uh, please go download this stuff, check it out. Uh, there is another set of links that's going to be in the description aside from 
where you normally get those because we're going to be setting up a page at dpad.fm slash strategy. And on this page, you're going to have uh, the download links for everything you need. It's going to be kind of a one-stop shop for this. We kind of want to go out there and, and enable people to explore this game and really, you know, dig in. Uh, there's a lot of promise buried in this code, and there's a lot that still hasn't really been uncovered. There's stages that are in this game that we never saw, and we don't know why. So uh, hopefully this inspires some of you guys to check it out. I would love to see more videos like this in the future from people who have dug in even deeper to be able to, to really explain the in and out of the game because we just don't get it, honestly. So uh, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions at all, please throw them in the comments. I'll be keeping an eye on those and I'll do my very best to help out where I can. Some of the questions may be things that are a little outside my my realm of expertise, but I, I certainly have enough experience at this point to, to try. So... Uh, there will also be, um, the, we also have a contact email on our YouTube page. So if you have any more in-depth questions that don't really work as YouTube comments, you can feel free to email us as well. And again, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll respond as quickly as I can and as thoroughly as I can. And hopefully we can, uh, honestly, I would love to see a full English patch of this game, more of the images, more of the, more of the text getting cleaned up. Um, maybe some of the inner workings of things could be a little bit tweaked to, to make it, you know, a little bit easier to work with. I would love controller support one of these days. I don't know. There was a fan project to rebuild this from scratch that doesn't seem to have gone anywhere, unfortunately. But I think there is something worth looking at in this game. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, for those of you who are visiting our channel for the very first time, feel free to, you know, like and subscribe and comment all that stuff. Uh, we've been doing a bit more in-depth analysis and research lately, and we've been doing more video essays. So you might have some more stuff in the ballpark of this. And, uh, for those of you guys who are already subscribers, thanks for watching. And, uh, if you're fans of the mega let's play, then tomorrow we're going to be getting into uh, the next game in the series. So we'll see you then. Bye. Get up. 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 Get up.